Stand up bass. Ride cymbal. Freddy Freeloader. So many miles of tracks on his body collapsed. A bedraggled slump on a damp window sill. Overactive salivary glands as evidenced by the stains on his t-shirt. His head heavy with unfinished ideas on how to get over. Forehead pressed against the rain-soaked window, he watches through one eye as the puddles ripple three stories below his bedroom window. Infinitesimal water displacement. In the background, the wax begins to spin, and when the needle touches down, heard is the sound of static, dust on the vinyl. Heard are the sticks in lockstep with the keys. Yeah. The stand-up is in the corner. An Afro-Cuban intro transitions into a slowly, lowly, quasi-narcoleptic swing. the tenor, moody blue, riding a melancholy breath, and here comes Freddy, indifferently enraptured in a skag trance. Freddy dances with his head down, notes to himself that he has forgotten how to tie his shoes, notes to himself that these particular shoes don't have laces. <laughs> notes to himself that he is 17 hours into a brutal kick and Charlene ran off with his pillbox notes to himself the life he would <laughs> dead for a lewd notes to himself the time he would waste for just one sweet spoonful notes to himself the strips he would walk for just one Xanax. Any simple fix on which he could lay for the next several hours, which were sure to be pure agony. Freddy stumbles onto the soiled mattress positioned in the bedroom corner. This particular mattress had over 100,000 miles on it. And when viewed under black light, it resembles a Jackson Pollock. <laughs> Freddy's weary eyes move across the sheet and its folds, associating each stain with a different night, a different fix, a different codependent friend who would up and walk out at any minute. But that horn, that tenor, is still wailing an earthy blue note that tenor is arpeggiated grief in the key of E minor. That tenor is Freddy's number one. And he's easing himself onto that mattress so that tenor saxophone can sit right on his face and coax him into a heroin-coated slumber. Drift. Whoa!